Uh, hello, welcome to this video. This is a video on my dissertation. For my dissertation, I wanted to create a artificially intelligent agent which would react effectively to the world and the player, and not just be scripted because it doesn't look very humanistic. So my my overall goal was to create a human-like opponent for Unreal Tournament 2004. Uh, and by human-like, I mean an opponent that would behave like a human uh, and take actions depending on what was it doing around it now. Uh, in a second, the opponent will spawn in. I may have to skip here, as it's taking a little longer than I expected. Uh, so I'll give you a brief overview. The, the agent is called Robo, and it uses a neural network, which is trained with backpropagation, in order to make decisions based on environmental inputs. The inputs include things like can it see a player, how far it is to the player, are there any rare items spawned, um, and as you can see spawned in, uh, if he's low on health, and based on those, oh that was a bit close, didn't expect that, based on um, those inputs he will run around the level collecting health, stockpiling, he'll change weapons depending on ranges, he has priority on certain weapons such as the rocket launcher, much like a player, he'll leap around in combat as we'll see hopefully when I can find him. Shoot me for that. I apologise for the lack of talking as he's sometimes a little bit hard to kill. Now I found when I was playing against him that where's he gone? There he is. Uh, sometimes he's a little too difficult, as I was found out by meditation. Most people struggled with him, um, but from from the research I conducted, people like to be challenged. They don't they don't like to be spoon-fed victories. It's, it's a hollow win. So I found that the difficulty of an opponent is closely linked to how they're perceived by the player. So if it was too easy, it, you'd just think it was just an easy opponent. And if it was too hard, then you'd think it was cheating, and it could see through walls, which mine can't. Uh, one of the major things that I wanted to deal with was it not knowing anything about the environment apart from what it can see, other than some basic information about where where weapons are, because an experienced player would, like for example, I know the rocket launch is up there because from past experience. So I, I, I let it know like spawn points and things, but it, do, it never knows where the player is, and so it just patrols around looking for items. Now the the network was trained with backpropagation as I mentioned earlier. Uh, the the test cases that I used were based on information that I thought I would do given the current input. So for example, if he's missing 80% health and the player is relatively close, what he will try and do is he'll back off shooting at the opponent while running towards health. So if I can stay in a combat long enough, you see here, he can evade quite well and he's, he's trying to like get up there and run along this ledge up here, but no one's a match for the scatter cannon. Or the flat cannon, as it's called. I call it a scatter cannon. I get confused with other weapons in the other games. So as you can see, he's just up there. Now if I just swap to spectate mode, so we can see him trawling around. As you can see, he'll collect health, he'll run about, picks up all little health files. Now, as you can see, from here, he looks fairly robotic. And this is because when when there's no player around, or he can't see a player, he just goes into the bog standard, be the most efficient pathfinding opponent that it can be. So he'll move in straight lines, he doesn't, he doesn't care, because the player can rarely see him and it, he can't see them. So as you can see, he's doing some little evasive manoeuvres just in case the player is watching. Uh, he's got built-in mechanics to, if he's shot, he'll turn around and search. As you can see, he's got the flat cannon here, and if I'm to jump back in... Uh, he has a flat cannon, but if I can... There you go, he swapped with an assault rifle, because that's the best weapon he's got for the job at the moment. Now, I apologise for how terribly I'm doing it's just because... Fraps... is, um... is... 
reduce some FPS and it's quite hard to play. As you can see they swap from flat cannon to assault rifle to rocket launcher and eventually beam me. Now the way the aiming is done is uh, a sphere is generated around the target that you're shooting at and just wait, just wait for this to put damage to get out of the way and a random point on the outside side of that sphere is chosen. Now as the combat goes on the sphere reduces in size. Now this makes him more accurate as a player would be as he adjusted the situation but also when he moves around and leaps around and jumps and performs maneuvers that sphere gets bigger so as it as it would be expected from a normal player, like if I'm doing this and leaping about and being all crazy, then my accuracy would decrease ever so slightly. Now I'm just going to get smashed in here. By him. Now one thing he doesn't do is he doesn't predictive aim and he has no recognition of how good the gun is. Uh, and by, th by this I mean the rocket launcher was preferred by most players that played against him. And because the projectile takes time to arrive at the location, um, sometimes it's not used and just as always completely surprises me using the rocket launcher. So he misses most of the time and he won't get more kills with it. Whereas if he uses the assault rifle the, the bullets are almost instant and he'll get more kills. Now uh, it's, it's, it's worked reasonably well, I would say. He can move around, he chooses weapons, he's got assault rifles here. He's doing a little bit of evasive maneuvers there, just in case. Swapping weapons on, on the fly. He's got a preference for the flat cannon as it does the most damage, I don't know what he's doing here. Looks like he's got a bit stuck. There we go, there we go. Sorted. Um, so yes. Uh, I believe that if this was to be used in... What are you doing? It's not there. If this was to be used in like a, um, a proper game with a bit more fine tuning and a few a few further developments, like the pathfinding is messing up here quite a bit at the moment, um, then it would be a, a decent opponent to play against. You'd feel like you were playing against another human even in a single player campaign, which which is ideal because. The, with the, with the current opponents, you can you can tell. Taking Call of Duty for an example, uh, Call of Duty World at War, when you throw a grenade on the hardest setting, they'd all throw 3,000 grenades back again. It's, it's it would be difficult beyond the point of being difficult. So this is what I hope to achieve, and I think I've I've come close. I've come very close to achieving it. I'd say I'm 90 to 95 percent there. With a few more tweaks, it would be golden. So thank you for watching. If you've got any comments about anything that you've seen or heard in this video, uh, just drop me a comment in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.